It's common to want to have modifiers that only apply when certain conditions are met. And in Swifty Y, the easiest way of doing that is with the ternary conditional operator. Now, as a reminder, to use the ternary operator, you first lay out your condition. In this case, we're saying, is age greater than or equal to 18? You then write a question mark, followed by your true case. If it is greater or equal to 18, then can vote is yes. You then write a colon and write your false case. Can vote will be no. That's the order. And if you forget this often, I would encourage you to remember Scott Michel's helpful mnemonic. What you want to check, true value, false value, WTF. Now, for example, if you happen to have some kind of value inside here that could be true or false, you might use it to create a button like this one. You might say, there's some state, private var, use red text is false. Then your view body will do button, hello world, in which we'll flip the Boolean between true and false. So I'll say, use red text, the toggle. And now I'm going to apply a foreground style. If use red text is true, then red, otherwise use blue. So saying when use red text is true, effectively this modifier reads foreground style dot red, like that. Otherwise, when it's false, it'll be foreground style blue. All in one. Now, because Swift UI watches all these state properties here and re invokes the body property whenever it changes, it'll make sure the foreground style automatically updates whenever you press that button. And right now we have hello world, tapped, it's now red, tap, it's blue again. Now you can often use regular if conditions to return different kinds of views based on your state. But this actually creates more work for SwiftUI behind the scenes. Rather than seeing one button, it now sees two buttons with different kinds of attachments to it. And we flip our Boolean condition between one button and the other button, it destroys the first one and creates a different button every single time. So in code, we might say this. Uh, if use red text, then do this button here. And I'll just do red always, so we're in red text mode. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and copy that into the else block and say you have foreground color and foreground style of blue, like so. That's how it looks with a conventional if statement, but it, like I said, it's, it is slower because it has to see two buttons now and destroy and recreate each time. Now, sometimes using if statements like this is unavoidable, but where possible, you absolutely do want to use the ternary conditional operator instead.